concrete chloride migration coefficient test. This video operation uses one channel test as a sample. First of all, we prepare test supplies, processed test pieces, temperature sensors, wires, rubber sleeves, anode plate, cathode plate, anode solution, cathode solution please choose the solution according to your own test requirement, bracket water tank. Next, we will start to assemble the experimental device. First, we will put the prepared test piece in the rubber sleeve and tighten the bolt on the hoop, which can be tightened with tools so that the cylindrical side of the test piece is in a sealed state to avoid solution leaks. Next, we put the bracket on the bottom of the clean sink, facing up at an 80 degree angle. Put the cathode plate on the bracket, inlay the assembled rubber sleeve on the cathode plate, and then place the anode plate inside the rubber. Next, we put the bracket on the bottom of the clean sink, facing up at an 80 degree angle. Put the cathode plate on the bracket, inlay the assembled rubber sleeve on the cathode plate, and then place the anode plate inside the rubber. Gently connect with the test piece. After assembly, we inject the prepared anode solution into the rubber sleeve. The cathodic solution is injected in the tank. The water level in the tank should be the same as the water level in the rubber sleeve. After the injection is complete, connect the wires to the cathode and anode plates. Connect the cables of the same color. Connect with the host plug in channel 1. Then, put the metal rod of the temperature sensor into the rubber sleeve and connect the other end to the host. Plug the power cord into the host. Turn on the power. Test start now. Choose the corresponding standard. Open the channel 1. Next. Next. Set voltage and test time according to actual requirements. We set the test time as 1 hour. Next. Test start. Test start, and when the test time is up, Enter the thickness and penetration depth according to your own test piece. After the input is completed, click to start calculation. Show the test results, click to save the record. After the experiment is completed, click Data Export. We insert the U-Disk into the instrument. And when the status is normal, select the corresponding file number and click Data Export. After the experiment is completed, click Data Export. We insert the U-Disk into the instrument. And when the status is normal, select the corresponding file number and click Data Export. Export complete. Back to menu. Test complete.